Howdy folks! Today we're checking out Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator Prologue. So it's not out yet, but I checked on Steam and asked to get access to the Prologue and ended up getting it. So we're going to take a look. You can find it on Steam, go check it out, add it to your wish list. It's, uh, it's pretty unique. I've seen a couple videos on it. And it looks very simple at first, and then once you get in, it's very, very detailed. So let's dive in. Uh, we're going to do Survival. There is a simulator mode. It recommended doing survival in the prologue. So it just adds uh, survival elements, or if you just want to do simulator stuff, looks like you're going to be able to do that as well. Uh, let's see, we'll go for Kerbo. And let's get ready to freeze to death. <laughs> Loads up pretty quick. Пассажиры и железнодорожники. Частный перевозчик товарищ Миша примет обратно на грузовую линию. Yeah, what she said. Вам приятного и безопасного путешествия. Very cool. So there's a lot going on. Uh, you can see we've got hunger, thirst, alcohol, hangover, illness, hypothermia. And we got this uh, Serge here is telling us what to do. That uh, radio is something else, huh? <laughs> and there's like mafia guys, so we may ignore those. I just want to get on the train. So we get temperature in the uh, lower right there. It's pretty cold. And we got money in the lower left. So he's telling us all this stuff. I think I have to wait till he's done before I can pick up anything. So basically, he's going to teach us how to start up the our locomotive, hook onto the cars, and then take off down the track. And then I think that's when the prologue ends. That doesn't sound like much, but man, we'll just wait till we get in the train. There's there's a lot going on, like I said. So let's grab. Well, I got it. I got to drink something, bud. Press F to continue. Yeah, I'm at the railway station. Money. Yep. Yep. Go shopping. Okay. Uh, e to buy. All right. Let's. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need. Let's grab like four beers. And a th is this some kind of fish? I'm not 100 percent sure what this is. Let's assume it's food. Looks like a pull top can. I don't know that I'm gonna need a flashlight, but uh, I can't imagine we'll need a chainsaw. So we'll leave that. Uh, we got some fresh food here. Let's just grab those. A couple different kinds of apples, it looks like. I gotta get a banana. And I got a little bit of milk. We gotta have a cabbage, for sure. Uh, I don't. We might need a knife. I don't know. <laughs> and we gotta. Let's get some bread. We gotta have some bread, too. There we go. Okay, I think that's enough stuff. Let's head over to the locomotive. Uh, you can use scroll wheel here. Let's go through the stuff. How's the flashlight work? You just click it on. I'm not sure how the flashlight works. L for light? Nope. You'll see it if we go inside here, we'll we'll warm up a little bit. Can't fit through unless I open both doors. Time to go on a diet. So you see it's already up to uh, 59 Fahrenheit. Nice and warm in here. So if you need to get warmed up, just go inside of a building. Let's hoof it over here to the locomotive. I like the, the, the world is like super detailed. You got people around everywhere. It's kind of depressing. Not all these people are doing great. Oh, let's go ahead and press Q. So that'll turn that on and off. And we got I for the big inventory. Some places you can buy weapons for hunting and self-defense. Apparently you can like hunt and maybe make your own food. I'm not sure. Go to your locomotive. That's what I'm trying to do. How are we supposed to... How are we supposed to get across? Oh. <laughs> Try looking around, Kerbo. There's a footpath. So these are electric trains. Which I'm not that familiar with. 
Uh, looks like we need to go down to the next. Um, the settings are all on Epic. It seems to run pretty well. When I was checking the FPS, I was getting almost 100. It's nice and smooth. My PC specs are all on the About page of the channel if you want to check those out. It's just kind of a, it's about a three-year-old gaming PC. Not top of the line anymore, but it's no slouch either. All right, here we are. Go to our locomotive. We finally made it over here. Enter the cabin in the first section of the locomotive. Yeah, well, this is just the tutorial, buddy. I'm kind of stuck with it. Uh, e to open. A little bit cold out there, so. In the top right corner is information about the nearest important points. Okay. Railway signal, we got hangar, we got all kinds of stuff. Some locomotive functions are blocked during the tutorial. All right. Stand by the side mirror and press E. Enter inspection mode. Oh, okay, cool. You are in inspection mode. T to view the... Oh, okay, cool. So we got something up here that's bad. The speedometer is bad, apparently. Add the adjustable wrench to my inventory. Uh, press E to exit. So we can turn that back off. Push E. Uh, the wrench. Oh, there's a wrench outside. Got it. I don't know if the heaters are on yet in there, but... That in our inventory. Watched a couple different people play the prologue, and everybody left the doors wide open, even when they had the heaters on. <laughs> we want to stay warm. Okay, so if I open up my inventory, I'm going to put the wrench down here on, was that four? Can I hit four? Five. There we go. All right, unscrew the screws of the speedometer with the right mouse button. So click and hold, okay. Got it. Put away the adjustable wrench. Using the left mouse button. Press E to put in inventory. Okay. Put new speedometer in the empty space. Got it. So it doesn't cost us anything because it's the tutorial. You just kind of look at the train and push up and you can climb up in here. So I'll just keep the outside door closed. Put new speedometer in the empty space. So I guess I have to have that in my inventory. So that one's 100%. That's the one we want. Let's put that on there. Okay. Back to the wrench. Come here, you. Push and hold left mouse button. Okay. We can sell used parts. The locomotive is ready to start. Here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> Turn on this small compressor switch in the engine room. Okay, so we have to we have to do lots of stuff here. We're going clear over to the other end of the loco, it looks like. Second engine room. This thing is huge. Turn on the small compressor switch. So that provides pressure to the pantographs. Which are the things on top of the locomotive that are connecting with the wires, if you're not familiar with that. Turn on the radio. Okay. Wagons with coal to Novo are ready for transport. They're on track eight by platform three. Okay. This is information from the dispatcher. Got it. 
Turn on the pantographs power switch. I'm glad they have directions. Okay, so now we're getting power from the pantograph. The red light shows electricity is supplied from the battery. Okay. Turn on the pantograph one and pantograph two switches. Oh, that raised them up. Okay, I got you. So we were just on the battery there for a while. And we got 3,300 volts. Turn on the heating first set and heating second set. Temperature cannot fall below five degrees. Okay. So it's gonna, you can see it start warming up in here. Very cool. Keep the doors and windows closed. Yep. Way ahead of you there, chief. Turn on the compressor's switch. So our main reservoir is filling up. Must be at least four kilograms per square meter. Is that what that means? Turn on the KVC switch. It starts the controller for the supporting engine. It's on, but not yet working. Okay. Got to release it. KVC is working. I don't know what the KVC is, to be honest with you. <laughs> Turn on the BV once it starts control for the main engine. Apparently we have like a backup engine. We got to re release that one as well. Engines are turned on. Okay. When you lower the pantographs and then raise them up again, remember to reset the engines. Okay. Engine cooling low speed. Set the brake blocking handle to the brakes release position. Oh, cool. Lots of detail, like I said. Fill the leveling reservoir and the brake line with the pressure of 5.5. Release and charge. Release and charge. There we go. More dials are moving. We got a brake line pressure. Leveling reservoir is coming up. Do not exceed this limit. Uh, okay. Surface position. Gotcha. So we don't want to overcharge the brake system. And cause damage. Reach a value below 5.7. Shut off without supply. Yeah, I know it's dropping. I didn't want it to drop that far. It wouldn't let me move it. <laughs> the brakes are prepared. Okay, so we got... Uh, 4.3-ish. Head towards 4.5, looks like. If you'd like to set the pressure more precisely, uh, set the, more precisely set the main brake handle to the release of charge. Right, that's what I was trying to do, but you wouldn't let me move the handle. All right, turn on the VU switch to activate the locomotive control system. It's located above the entrance door to the cabin. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, tutorial. All right, and then we have a signalization system that like ties in with the signals. So we gotta go back to the engine room. Oh, it's cold back here. Let me keep that closed. This is basically telling us we're driving from that location, I think. forward position. There we go. I remember right, we got to run back and forth a little bit here. Can't open the door when you're in the way, apparently. Alright, so we have signalization. We're going to turn that on. It's like the alerter on uh, American Locos. Signalization system is turned on. All right. Green light. 
Move his slot up to 60. Yellow light slow down to 40. Yellow red. It's like a we have to stop for the next signal. Match it, stop immediately. Makes sense. Go to the cabin in the second section of the locomotive. Oops, wrong door. Yeah, it's about 48 degrees back here. It's not, not super warm. He wants me to go here. If you want to drive this section, you have to turn off the locomotive, pull out the panel lock key on the control panel and start. Okay, so we have to like switch in so we're going to drive from this end. Set the handle, blocking handle to the hand. Okay, it's so a handbrake release. Okay, so we have to turn off the handbrakes at each end. Interesting. Back up to the other end we go. It's getting a little warmer in here. I guess from me opening the doors and stuff. And it's nice and toasty in here. All right, now we gotta do the same with this one. Oh, we're gonna get ready to move. Set the selector handle to the M position for driving forward. Okay. Main handle to the one position. So we have main handle and the brake handle. So that's a brake too. Okay. Oh, you actually have to grab the, the thingy. That's cool. I was trying to grab here and it didn't work. We're moving! <laughs> okay, so we can't accelerate too quickly. Next step is to couple the marked railroad cars. Okay, so we have to go up there past that switch. It says we'll have to brake soon. I don't have any idea how fast we accelerate. generator says it's turned off. I guess that's okay. It didn't tell me to do anything. What's our speed? Hey, the new speedometer works. 10 kilometers an hour? Alright, let's back off. We coast. We can coast a little bit. It's making lots of noises. Can I go to inspection mode while we're driving? Oh yeah, look at that. So these are the pantographs. They contact with that wire to get power. There we are. We're moving. Wish I could turn the uh, UI off. All right, we gotta stop up there. That's it's a little ways away. Back to position five. So we got field current, all the brake stuff, brake handle unavailable. I wonder if that's just not in the tutorial. We got air brakes over here. Maybe this is a regenerative electric brake. We're only doing like 12 kilometers an hour, so we're okay. We're gonna have to stop up there at that switch. And then it looks like we're backing in, hooking onto those uh, coal hoppers back there. Nice sounds. It's just, if, if I'd just glanced at this game on Steam, I don't think I would have thought much of it, but there's a lot going on here. Makes a lot of noise when you move it to zero. Right 
Brakes? Hello? Can't put on the brakes. Brakes? Independent brake? Nothing works. <laughs> this is not good. No? F? Does this brake work? I can't, like, nothing's working. This is not good. Oh, because it's the tutorial. That's why. The tutorial wasn't letting me do anything. I had to wait for the tutorial. Yeah, we're braking. The train has stopped. Go outside and change the railroad switch setting. Roger that. Which side was it on? Was it on this side? I forget. Might be on the other side. Look both ways. Oh, we got a train coming through. The world's very much alive. Like, there's trains, there's people walking around. The sounds are fantastic. I love it. Uh, how's my third? I'm going to have to drink something here for too long. Just eat a switch. Lots of details, too, on everything. There they go. So we have to go MR to go backwards. What kind of couplers do they have? Pretty similar to American style, it looks like. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why nothing's working. You just gotta wait for the tutorial. All right, so we go back this way, I'm guessing. Yeah, reverse. Release the independent. And we'll ease back. Maybe. We can observe it in inspection mode, but can we control it in inspection mode? I'm guessing no. Let's get a little bit of speed up and then we'll slow back down. So even in position one, we're losing a little bit of speed. Uh, the mirror doesn't work. Pop into inspection mode, see where we're at. I don't know if there's an external camera. Oh, we're starting to get some wear and tear, it looks like. Interesting. Yeah, we got a little a little ways to go here. It's a shame that mirror doesn't work. That would be pretty handy. Cool, you can move the sun visors. Let's slow down. There's that pole. We gotta be getting close. And we're getting there. We got one more pole. I'm gonna go up. So once I see that signal over there, then we'll be getting fairly close. Sorry, I'm not used to this train, so I'm kind of clumsy driving it. With the passenger train headed by. All right, there's the signal. Going so slow. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Got it, got it. Are 
Are we there yet? Oh, we're getting close. Maybe I should have left it in position one. Use scroll wheel to advantage the camera speed. Oh, cool. It's a handy feature. Well done, Devs. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. There's a lot going on here. It seems like I might not have quite enough energy. We're going to make it. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to make it. Here we go. We're going to couple up. You ready? The railroad cars are coupled. Indeed, they are. Track one, platform six. Okay. We got time left for the job. Stop the locomotive in the way you do with a couple of railroad cars. Uh, okay. Now you're going to let me move it. Service braking one. Very gentle and the pressure drops very slowly. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Emergency is most effective. The train has stopped. Deliver the railroad cars to the station. I don't think it lets us go all the way to the station. Okay. So we wanted to put it in service. Go back to forward. Grab the right handle. Press X to sit down. <laughs> okay, so service, right, leads it off. So we're going to start moving. Our independent is indeed off. We have permission to proceed at 40 kilometers an hour, if I remember correctly. So X is basically like a crouch. Okay, off we go. Let's take a quick look in outside view. Here we go. We got some loaded uh, coal hoppers, it looks like. Most of them are loaded. That's cool that there are various load heights. It's not all just uniform. Add some variety. All right, we have not tooted the horn yet. Where's the horn? It's a very important part of driving trains. You have to toot the horn. Didn't tell us anything about a horn though, did it? You just think it'd be right here somewhere handy to, easy to get to. Okay, we've got some current going. It's all that, oh, there it is, horn and whistle. Nice. It's right over there. Okay, we're rolling, we're getting some speed up. I haven't seen any speed signs. I just remember that was like, oh, it even tells you right there. We have to be no more than 40 kilometers an hour. We're well below that. Let's go ahead and just notch up here. Keep an eye on our field current. Like we're doing okay. On what that was. Where's our? Is, we've got engine cooling. But I don't see. Reduce power. Eh. Oh. Okay. 
I wasn't paying that much attention to that part of the tutorial. So if that light's on, you can't you can't accelerate. You're applying too much power too quickly, I guess. Well, that says the fuel generator is turned off. Should that be on? Let's switch that on to high speed. Hey, we're up to 20 kilometers an hour. Look out. Here we come. Or if that's about right for yard speed. I don't have any idea what yard speed is in kilometers an hour. We have, I don't think we have any kind of like accelerometer. We got a horn though. Uh, also, what about lights? I didn't see anything about. Anything about lights? That'd be over here. Oh, here we are. Dim cabin illumination. Projector light, left buffer light. Let's go with the buffer lights. It should be enough. Should think that would be enough. There we go. Can't zoom out any anymore. I need a thumbnail here, game. There we go. Pretty cool. Oh, we got peoples. I don't know what the right grade crossing for this part of the world is. I bet we need more power, though. We're slowing down. A little bit of an incline there. So if that light comes on, you're giving it too much juice. Got it. Uh, we are thirsty. Let's grab a beer. Hold E to drink. Don't drink and drive. I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> Let me grab a milk. Get some bread, too. Hold E to eat. So it is edible. Was I supposed to lower the pantographs? I don't know what's going on. Driving position optimal. Oh, okay. Wow. This thing's very particular. Must be at a certain power setting. So we're going to Nova, which is seven kilometers away, but I don't know if we can go all the way there. So I know at least one of the videos I watched on this, he didn't get very far out of the rail yard and then he, it just ended. We'll, we'll go as far as we can, I guess. It's like a roller coaster through here. Check that out. <laughs> and I had the message about the pantographs, but I honestly didn't notice if we... Yeah, do we lose contacts? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, go back in. Prepare to lower the pantographs. Do what? How do we do that? Oh, lower. Prepare to lower the pantographs. Okay, I'm prepared. Oh, that was what that signal means. All right, so. Lower the pantographs. Uh, 
That's why it was telling me. I'd have to reset the motors. So... Oops, no, we don't want to do that. Lower the pantographs. Isn't that what I did? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think that means we can raise them again. Raise the pantographs, okay. Release those. Now I can give it power again. We have yellow over green. Optimal power. Okay. Maybe that's just to show you. Oh, is this the end here? There's like no wires there. I don't know what's going on. It's not yelling at me, so I guess that's a good thing. Time to take on your first assignment. Use drastic measures to defend our interests. Wait, what? Right, no more than 40, so we probably need to slow down a little bit. Use railway bridge is key to the logistics of the group. They're smuggling gun. Wait, what? Are we attacking people with the train? I believe you'll do what it takes to achieve our goals. Wait for further instructions. I'm just trying to drive a train here, dude. All right, we can get some more power back on. Back to optimal power. We're in a, oh no, 20. We got, we got to stop before the next signal. Where's the next signal? 0.7 kilometers? Maybe I should have bought an AK. All I have is a knife. I'm not sure that's going to do it for defending us. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know how fast we can slow down, so we'll do a little test. There we go. Milk does the body good. What do, we, what do we do to cure hangover? Eat some bread? Yeah, we're not slop, stopping very fast. Stop before the next railroad signal. Oops. Didn't slow down fast enough. Uh oh. There's a train coming. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. I messed up. Oh boy. Well, folks, I hate to do this to you, but I've got to split this video up. This went on for well over an hour. There's a lot more to this than I expected, so tune in for part two. I'll see you there.